Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I hope you are doing well. I am feeling really hot right now. We are having a bit of a heat wave. So wherever you are, I hope you are staying cool and hydrated. I have received my very first import, plant import from the Netherlands, I believe. Um, sorry, the heat is, I think, getting to me because I can't process. Um, anyways, I'm really excited to unbox it. Whew, uh, yeah, so I was very nervous getting uh, or starting to import plants because it's it's a lot of money. I This is probably the biggest single plant purchase. Um, I don't mean one plant, but the purchase itself was very big um and oh my god Ooh. anyways yeah i was just about to say that i was really worried because um you know how you know with plant imports there's always the risk that things will not arrive in a nice can uh, plants will not arrive in a nice condition and i have actually ordered this about maybe two weeks ago so I was a little bit puzzled when I received a message from the courier earlier today that I was going to receive a delivery and I definitely did not expect it to be the plant to import because it, it hasn't notified me nor does it say on the website that it was already shipped. So I definitely was not expecting it and because we had the heat wave I was actually even thinking uh, just yesterday that thank god that it's not being shipped yet because the heat wave would probably just um ruin the plants it's not a lot of plants i didn't want to go overboard since it is my first plant import so it was going to be my kind of like test so Ugh. all right so I actually ordered anthuriums, so these are all anthuriums, and oh, I'm already seeing damage here. Oh no, the plant got ruined. But anyways, it's fine. It looks pretty healthy. Um, yeah, it looks pretty healthy. Okay, so it's looking like it's the new leaf that got damaged, which makes sense because it's still kind of soft, so... Yeah, it's pretty fragile, um, but overall it's looking really good. Unfortunately, there is no tag, so there's no name for what this one Anthurium is. I guess that's kind of like the norm when you're importing, right? I don't think they put tags on the name on the name on the plant. Let me open the other first and see. Maybe I can identify this one. And if I can, then I'll be able to distinguish which this one is. Okay, it's nice and moist. Oh, unfortunately there's another new leaf that got snapped. I'm pretty sure this is the Anthurium vitarifolium. So I really want wanted the pendant Anthurium, as, uh, specifically the um, Anthurium, crap, the name is escaping my head right now. Come on, it was my only Anthurium wish list for this year, I believe. The Anthurium... Crap, I can't remember. I'm just going to put it on the screen because it, the name escapes me right now. But that was the Anthurium that I really want. But I can't seem to find it um, available. So I just settled for this one. Because why not? Um, it was at a discount. So let's get it and try it. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, it's it's looking fabulous. Is it just me or it kind of smells like... Oh my god. Oh. 
it smells like there's like it smells like there's poop or something um it's not very you can only smell it when you put your nose close to it but yeah it smells like poop which i am guessing is probably warm castings because i've heard that that's a very nice fertilizer for plants but it can also smell i'm pretty sure that this one here now is the it's an anthurium hybrid at least this is what it was being sold as it's the anthurium waroquinum cross with water bianum water bianum anyways yes yeah, so it's a hybrid hmm sorry <laughs> i was just like closely inspecting it but yeah so this is the anthurium vici the king but definitely not a king yet because it's hey everyone i'm so sorry for the abrupt ending but the camera actually overheated and it was so so hot like i could not hold it on my hand for more than five seconds because it was that hot so i did not film anymore i did not wait for it to cool down so that i can film again i just decided i'm gonna film the next day and so where were we i was uh talking about my anthurium vici which um yeah i was saying that i was having a very close look because it does not look like an anthurium vici so i was worried that they either scammed me or they put in um they put in one by a different one by mistake but i did look i did search online for like anthurium vici seedlings and many of the photos i saw were similar to this so i suppose they don't immediately look like the mature form which is fine because many plants do not look like their mature forms when they're still very young so uh, I guess time will tell, but for now, I think I am convinced that it is a VCI. So yeah, only time will tell. We'll see in the next few months how this develops. And yeah, I did have a closer look uh, the next day and they look very, very pretty. The only thing is the Vitarifolium which is looking a little bit weird um i don't remember i don't remember seeing it like this last night like it's looking a little bit rough a little bit um mm, i want to say dehydrated but i don't know i'm not so sure maybe th it's just how it looks so i'll just uh i need to search i need to just do a bit more uh, online searching to see if this if the vitara volume does look like this because it doesn't make sense to me that it would be dehydrated because out of all the anthuriums this one was actually pretty moist but anyways i'm very excited to have these anthuriums and see how they will grow uh the only bad thing is i don't have space for them like uh, I don't know. I, I need to make another kind of rearrangement of some sort because it's I'm I'm starting to have plants on the floor which which is something I already want to avoid or wanted to avoid like in my last makeover room refresh whatever you want to call it I, I want the floor space to be uh, I wanted the floor space to be as clear as possible, but now we're starting to fill with plants. <sighs> but anyways, I still have some exciting stuff to show you because I have some new plant additions that I have not uh, shown to anybody yet. Um, which one should I start with? Okay. 
Uh, this one here is my a medium, a medium, medium silver. They also call it a monstera of some sort, but it's not a monstera. It has this kind of like reptilian skin texture, which was kind of like the selling point for me, which is why I wanted to give it a try. It wasn't expensive. So yeah, it is a vining plant. It's almost reminiscent of like the Cebu blue that has the kind of like silvery blue-ish hue on the leaf. So yeah, I would really like to get big leaves out of this, but I know next to nothing about how these grow, but they're supposedly easy. So we will see in due time. Whew, uh, it's very hot, you guys. Uh, um, yeah, I just shut off the fan so that it's not noisy while I'm filming and I'm trying to wrap this up as quickly as possible because it is very hot. So I am very interested in carnivorous plants, specifically Drosera's. So I bought this Drosera, I actually bought three of them. And this one here is the Alicia. And I am so, so happy with them. Come on, focus. Yes. So this previously did not have the droplets on them. But after a few weeks, they started putting them out. And I put it out on the balcony as well from time to time because I know they like they also like uh, direct sun for a bit. Um, there was actually a tiny praying mantis on it. Um, but I, I think the mantis was too strong for it to be caught. I, rather, the mantis was pray, was waiting for some other insect to come in. <clears throat> so that was interesting. That was a bit fun. But uh, what wasn't fun is the other Drosera's did not make it. This one here is the Drosera paradoxa, and it's really nothing now um the leaves were dried out when i received them but this one it looks like there's still something that's about to grow in the middle so i'm just hoping and waiting to see if anything is going to grow from it if this one is going to recover but unfortunately the third Drosera that I got Yeah, I should just toss this now because it really doesn't look like anything is gonna come out of it now This one is the Drosera capensis one of the more common Drosera's so uh, I'm pretty Disappointed that it did not make it um, I don't know I the seller i think did not water them before sending them out because when i received them they were dry they were almost dried up the leaves themselves were dried up so they didn't have enough moisture thank god the drosera alicia made it it also was not really looking that good but it was the best out of the three but yeah i'm happy that one made it so what I actually did, because it's very hard to find Drosera species here, that was the only shop locally that I could find that was selling Drosera's. And those were the ones that were available, those three. And I couldn't find anywhere else who was selling Drosera's. So what I did is I actually bought on Amazon. I had this thought like, okay, why don't I just grow them from seeds? Like, that would be fun as well, uh, growing uh, Drosera from seed. I've never done it, so it's going to be interesting. And I actually just received the mail today. So that's exciting. Probably going to set it up next week because I need some materials to grow the seed. I don't have a medium to grow the seeds in. So, yeah, that's going to be for another video.
Okay, the latest I got is this Phalaenopsis. So this is my very first, it's my second Phalaenopsis that I've grown, but this is the first time that I bought it for me. I repotted it into pure moss. I think it's doing okay. It has not reacted after repotting it, but yeah. Anyways, this is the Phalaenopsis uh, Pikachu. And yes, I bought it because it was a Pikachu. Um, and let me see if you guys can see it. It's very pretty. And yes, I actually removed the support because I want the spikes to uh, kind of like trail down or just hang. And it's now slowly starting to hang down, which is lovely. But yeah, so far, so good. Um, I'm, I think I'm having a bit of a phalaenopsis or just a general, in general, an orchid. Um, slight fever. Um, um, I was already looking for other phalaenopsis or orchid to try. So yes, um, if anyone has any suggestion about a type of orchid, like a Paphiopetalum or a Cymbidium or something, uh, let me know. Something that's easy. Again, I'm very, very new to orchid care. So I'll appreciate if you have any suggestions. Okay, I just wanted to highlight. Like, look, my Alocasia Jacqueline is pushing out a new leaf. It's super exciting. And is it me or did this get longer? I feel like this got longer since the last time. Uh, you guys, <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I love the alocasia jacqueline so much in fact i love alocasias so i have some very nice and exciting plants primarily for the balcony um i just had to postpone it because we are having a heat wave and it's a very hot to work in the balcony right now so it's going to be much cooler after this weekend so i can finally get starting to do to work on things on my balcony so i'm gonna wrap it up here because it's like really hot right now and i can't <laughs> i'm sweating um stay cool you guys wherever you are stay hydrated um thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care for now Bye bye